Well, hello, Cancer. Beautiful rising. Good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in and this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter signs. So, welcome back or welcome cancer to another of your readings i hope that you are all doing so 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 very well all of my readings are intended to be timeless meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message so use your intuition to tune into what the message is for you all right cancer let's get your cards out here i am very excited to see what the reading is for for you this week so all right okay one more one more okay there we go and let's get an affirmation for each of these uh, cards all right so oops Two at a time. So this is a one. I think that's it. Do you know what? I'm just going to leave them both out there because, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave them both out there because I'm feeling like they both are important. So let's turn this around and turn this around. So we'll look at this affirmation first when we get to it. But all right. All right, your, oh, wow, so Cancer, your tarot card for this week is the Queen of Discs, the Queen of Pentacles, and so with this, <sighs> with this energy, I'm feeling like a level up, so, um, like a level up in your physical energy, not even like in your in your physical world. Um, so, in whatever way, so maybe you get a like it could be a raise, or it could be a an increase of something in some type of way so maybe <laughs> I mean I don't know why this came into my head but maybe more people are picking up on you this week than like last week <laughs> I, don't, I don't know um but you are in this energy of uh, just being in your power, being confident, being grounded, um, and uh, yeah, you have this big coin that is sitting in your lap that you may or may not see, but it is sitting in your lap at this time, so yeah, that is interesting. I'm very interested to see how these cards play into this tarot card. So let's look at your recent past energy, Cancer. Oh, in your recent past energy, you have ears wide open. Ears wide open. So I feel with this that in your recent past energy, you have been listening a lot more, listening a lot deeply, a lot more deeply, um, listening to yourself, listening to your inner voices, listening to what your into, listening to your intuition, listening to you know the different thoughts that are coming into your head. So just whatever it is, like you've been listening a lot more deeply than you have before, like listening to your soul, listening to your heart, your ears have been wide open, but yeah, it's been about you listening to 
all of the different aspects of yourself. So this is beautiful because like, look how this little fox is laying. It's just like its ears are backwards, but it's just laying there by himself, just ears wide open. And so I'm feeling that this was you just kind of listening to what to your own wants, needs, desires, and what your own goals were, and yeah, just you tuning in to you, and this is card number 33, and 33 is the number of the Ascended Masters, so I feel that in this um, ears wide open energy, you have also been tuning in to spirit more as well, so I love it. So for your affirmations, first and foremost, wow, we have the auric field of the spiritual body. Whatever I may need for my healing and development flows to me in abundance from the creative force. Whatever I may need for my healing and development flows to me in abundance from the creative force. So <laughs> yeah, in your recent past, as you you know, ears wide open. I had said that you, you know, were listening more to spirit and you have started to realize that whatever you need for your healing and development does flow to you in abundance. Whenever you have asked for, asked questions, you have gotten the answers. You know that you have everything that you need in order to live the life that you want. It's all about you just continuing to go forward and uh, having trust in yourself and your guides. So if you feel this is an affirmation for you to write down and to continue to use, then please do so because I love that affirmation. Okay. And the second affirmation is from the fourth chakra, which is our heart chakra. My ability to love grows from day to day. Hmm. My ability to love grows from day to day. So, yeah. In your recent past energy, you have been allowing yourself to be in the energy of love and allowing yourself to grow and expand in love each and every day and that's beautiful beautiful energy like grow in love with yourself grow in love with your with your own intuition your own trust trust for yourself and belief in yourself because when we have that within ourselves then it's easier for us to put that out into the world so you and your recent past have been learning um, and not only learning but putting it in action to grow these things within yourself listening to your intuition more not trying to do it but doing it and seeing how that feels and yeah just growing in your abilities and in your love for all that is <laughs> so in your present energy we have earth magic <laughs> so what I'm feeling so this is card number one and what I'm feeling is that like ah yeah, like it is this energy of you have your feet on the ground in, in walking the path that is meant for you, the path that is illuminated for you, your highest path, your best path. Like look at all these stars in the ground where she has her feet. You are in alignment with what you should be doing. You are in the exact place that you are meant to be at this time and you are experiencing earth magic like you are I, I just heard like you are walking your true path like you are walking your true path and 
and it's lit up for you like it is ready to show you exactly what this path is where this path is meant to take you and what this path is meant to do for you so that's really it that's so beautiful that's so beautiful. So I always shuffle the cards and cut the decks before I start the readings. And as I was shuffling, I kept seeing this card. And I was just like, is that card going to come out? And so that it came out for, for Cancer present energy is perfect. Because if you don't know already, I am a Cancer sun. And so, yeah. It is absolutely perfect. So, yeah. So, the affirmation is from our second chakra, and it says, I give and receive affection and physical contact with total enjoyment and trust. I give and receive affection and physical contact with total enjoyment and trust. So, yeah, I feel that in this energy, like... Because we are on our best and highest path, we are just spreading, <laughs> I feel like just spreading love, spreading the love, um, <laughs> you know, like, and, and I'm feeling like the love isn't just always physical contact, but, you know, just smiling, giving somebody a smile saying hello to somebody, things like that, and just putting this energy out into the universe, out into the environment, the world around you, and uh, yeah, and it's just beautiful, like it is just, it's helped to illuminate your path even more, so amazing, and uh, in our, I mean, in your cancer, <laughs> I know, I guess I should say our, um, but the future energy is a burst of magic, a burst of magic, and so what I feel is that in the future, in the future energy cancer, there is this beautiful unfolding, so I don't, um, like what I got in my head was like, I saw this flower like opening and like a beautiful unfolding of something that is just bringing magic into your world, magic into your life, magic into your journey, magic into your everyday. And of course, it's going to be different for all of us. Like it could be love, it could be money, it could be a new job, it could be a move, it could be, ah, oh, so many things, you know, but a burst of magic, that is just exactly what it is, and I feel like in the future energy, we will think exactly that, like, this feels like magic, like, wow, this is seriously amazing, so, yeah, that's amazing energy, it feels really good, so, yeah, it feels really good, so, yeah, our affirmation comes from the secondary chakra's knees, because of my curiosity, I learn easily and quickly, because of my curiosity, I learn easily and quickly, and that is what I feel. I feel like we will find ourselves being curious about something or trying to learn more about something. And all of a sudden, we are engulfed in this magical energy. So, I feel like this is almost guiding us to be curious, to... If there's something that you want to know more about, dive into it because your spirit is telling you to do so for a reason and that's going to lead you to 
this burst of magic, a beautiful unfolding of something that you deserve so much that you have waited for so much and it, it has finally come to you. So amazing, Cancer. I love it. I love it so much. So all of this is going to put you in that queen energy that like I have this coin like this big huge coin is being presented to you from the universe so amazing so and this is as of you know this is because you have went inside yourself and started listening to your intuition allowed yourself to walk along your illuminated path and been open and curious enough to allow magic to unfold within your future energy so amazing 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 cancer so this has been your weekly energy check-in i hope you all found something that you resonate with and if you did please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not already uh, i'd love to have you so thank you so much cancer for being here i love you i appreciate you and i will see you in your next one